The town of Ustka, situated on the Baltic Sea, is one of Poland's most beautiful seaside resorts and also located close to the port of Gdańsk. Tourists come to enjoy the local beaches and the crisp autumn days. But for some beachgoers, it isn't a matter of a relaxation, but of serious business. Ever since Poland took over these territories from Germany back in 1945, this area has been a mecca for amber prospectors. In the decades that followed, they learned all the tricks of the trade, where and when to look for amber, and developed a true love for the craft. Like Andrzej Zakrzewski, who's been doing this for 10 years already. Andrzej uses a specially designed net along the bottom of the shallow waters of the coast of Ustka. It is a heavy contraption for a tough job finding amber on the seafloor. I całe noce są nieprzespane, chodzimy z latarkami po nocy, szukamy różnych tam śmieci i w tych śmieciach szukamy bursztynu. Także kilometry nieprzeliczone. This time only a jellyfish ended up in his net. But here are some of his recent finds, worth a couple thousand US dollars. Andrzej and his fellow prospectors sell amber mostly to the local craftsmen who turn it into these exquisite pieces of jewelry. Thousands of dollars worth of amber, they turn into tens of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry. And almost half of it ends up in the hands of Asian buyers. Wiele też części biżuterii jest produkowana bezpośrednio na rynek chiński, z tego, że jest to, można powiedzieć, bardzo specyficzny klient. W Polsce często biżuteria jest po prostu o wiele za duża dla polskich klientek, natomiast chinki, mimo tego, że bardzo dobre kobiety, po prostu uwielbiają jak coś takiego dużego, błyszczącego, no ale też nasi polscy, przede wszystkim zamiesznicy, są bardzo cenieni za granicą. Although Poland lags far behind Russia in amber deposits and extraction, it accounts for nearly 70% of the world's amber jewelry market. And most of it is produced right here, in the Gdańsk region, where more than 100 tons of amber is processed annually.